and welcome back to PSA TV. This is I Own Labour. Joining me on set right now, I have beautician and owner and founder of Imagine Makeup TT, Ms. Angel Joseph, who happens to be also um, a former colleague of mine at UWE. Mm -hmm. um, good morning, Angel, good and morning, welcome. Christy. How are you? Yes, this I'm fantastic. Fantastic Great, as amazing. always. Yes. Um, and we also have on our desk, would you, you can't, I, I'm not sure if you're seeing it yet. Okay, so we have these on things to eat. This is makeup products. It yes. looks edible. Um, the name itself, Parlor Cake. Um, geez, it's so cute. I know. Like, it wow. Really is. And it is the first compact powder you were telling me with. Yes, uh, it's the first setting powder with a mirror, mirror. and a puff together so it's very convenient for the everyday woman the makeup artist yeah. what have you all right so before we get into today's um, interview of course let me um, hear a little bit about who exactly is Angel and how did Imagine Makeup Titi come uh, come along okay so Angel Joseph is a young vibrant passionate yes. person yes. Um, I am into beauty I'm into marketing. Yeah. So therefore, I was like, okay, how can I marry the two? Merge two, yeah. And really provide such a good product for people. And that's basically what happened. And that was it. I ran with it. In the beginning of Imagine Makeup, I did not focus on my own um, brand, my yeah. own line, because I was still kind of discovering myself. But then I was like, you know what? This is the feel good. I want to do my own do your thing. Do own thing. My own yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but I'm, I'm sure this is not easy to do. Have your own brand? Um, it depends because honestly, I don't work a day in my life. I love what I do. Yeah, I yeah, love. It don't yeah. doesn't feel like work. But yes, it may have some challenges because our brand is very centered around Caribbean nostalgic culture. Yes. You know, um, names like Papa Yo and Mama <laughs> Guy and Darky, Best Thing. Cake, you know, you understand? Yeah. So it, it is a little tricky to get the right name for the right product. Yeah. Yeah. And we have here the eyelashes as well. Yes. Um, that's actually our first product. We were the first to launch the five pair of eyelashes on the market. We slept on it a lot, um, but we have learned since then. And now we are definitely always taking a step ahead. In the yeah, game. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And you've also brought awareness to breast cancer awareness uh, for this oh, month. Yes. Oh, and yes. I know most of you who are on Instagram, I mean, yes. that's, that's like the majority of Trinidad and Tobago, yeah. you would have seen, <laughs> and she continues to trend when it comes down to breast cancer awareness. As, as we all know, um, mm. tomorrow is the last day for that. It's the end of October tomorrow. So I'm happy to have you here, one day shy of the end <laughs> of, of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And you would have seen um, this cute little box with her um, parlor cake goodies, and you 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 brought across awareness and you merged it into makeup, and that's yeah. not something that has been done in Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. So, what inspired you to do that? Wow, my first race with that <laughs> one. Okay, so basically, I'm like. Health is the new beauty, right? Yes. We have to now focus on what we feed ourselves, what's on the inside. As women, you know, we're so busy. We so we, we, we want to look a particular way, but do we really feel that particular yeah. way that yeah. we need to feel? Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let's do something that could bring women together, bring awareness to their health, yeah. but we are transcending that through beauty, right? And that's basically what inspired me to get this movement going. I sent... Um, boob cupcakes for yes, everybody. It yes. was so cute. We had our beautiful launch on the 6th of October. I brought women together. It was even my first, my first step into like out of out of insecurity. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that, having that confidence to deliver how I feel mm -hmm. to women, mm -hmm. and that in itself was the and most you know, important thing ever. Most women need that support, especially mm -hmm. when it comes mm -hmm. down. And I'm I'm not talking about mouth support because. Mm -hmm. We all know how it's easy to say, I support you. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yeah. But how genuine are you? But it's something that you've done that has genuinely impacted yeah. um, women across Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, you, you, from that launch in October, it's still something that people talk about every day. And yes. it's, they're like, Paula Cake. From the time you hear Paula Cake, you're now like, 
Okay, that's Angel Joseph. That's Imagine Makeup Titi. Yes. And you look specifically for these cute little boxes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the names, of course. Sponge cake, <laughs> carrot cake, and not to forget biscuit cake. Why parlor cake, though? Um, again, nostalgic, Caribbean. Um, parlor cake was, the, was one of the things I thought about that is actually pink, one, as well as it's food. Why not? And that's the marketer in me. Yeah. I tend to do things that appeal to the masses. Because yeah. I study, I, 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 I see, it's, it's like market, psychology, brand association, that kind of vibe. Yeah. So I know how to package things in a way that everybody like, oh my God, I need one. And it, it, I mean, it is very unique because, yeah. you know, the, the, the common trend is, okay, you go with something that has been yeah, there, or you yeah. just kind of tweak it a bit. But you naturally have something that a lot of Caribbean people can relate to mm. in terms of the local pound. I love when people message me and they're like, oh my God, I need one of your cakes. And they keep with the jargon and the yeah. theme of what I'm yeah. doing. And yeah. it's so cute. It's so inspiring to see that, you know, they really remember the names. Yeah. It's so impactful. I, I, I would remember parlor cake for yeah. sponge cake. Yes, definitely. Sponge cake. <laughs> definitely. But, um, but I definitely want to promote health first. Yes. You know, you may see me today. I have worn absolutely no makeup. I'm a mother. Yes. I have to drop my son to school. <laughs> so it's very, you know, time consuming. We hardly have time for ourselves. And, you know, while I promote beauty, I also promote health. And I want to make sure everyone takes care of themselves first. Yeah. Before you go out and buy a product. That is very you know, true. Because some, sometimes you see, you know, people, uh, you have all this, but yet, the person behind it all, yes, yes. You, yes. you don't really reflect your product, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in this mm -hmm. case, she's gorgeous it's and flawless, hey. with, without her makeup <laughs> See and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, so when, when, you, when you're not in makeup, what are right. you doing? I dedicate a lot of my time to intrinsic development. Oh, wow. Right? Um, being centered, um, maintaining that that balance, right? Um, I'm, I'm an energy person, as you could probably yes. tell. Yes. Um, so, so it's just, just like I just want to make sure that I'm consistently feeding myself the nourishment I need to mm -hmm. keep motivated and keep motivating yeah. other people. You understand to do better, to be better, to be a best self. Which which means you would be able to tell from. Um, people, f what, what is genuine from what is not. Genuine. I see everything in a different lens now. Yeah, I, I really, really, really do. <laughs> and because I've learned so much, I've dedicated my social media, my personal social media, to assisting others in doing the same, finding yourself, yeah. finding your path, being you, right? Attracting the right crowd, the right people will fall into your life. Don't yeah. try to fit in. You know, a lot of people tend to do that. So yes, fit in. yes. It's like okay, this is. Everybody's going this way. I need to do the same thing mm -hmm. when you were born to stand out. Yeah, and that's part of the insecurity that I try to get people to understand. But as with everything else, we are all a flower and we have to bloom when we, we are ready. I love that. Yes. I love that saying. Why Breast Cancer Awareness Month though? Well, um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month has just provided me with the opportunity to okay. raise awareness for, pe for people and their health. Yeah. You know, and that's why I'm like, you know what? I want to do something for women and health. And that's why I chose October. But I have so much in store um, coming up with foundations and, you know, all these other things. And people, you know, they're pretty excited because they want to know how is Angel going to, you know, intertwine the Caribbean yeah. yes, palette I am with excited our products to see the again. foundation. Yes. That's good. That and, interesting. And even my, my, my next launch, you're like, oh my God, I can't wait to come. When is your next launch? It possibly might be in Carnival, okay. possibly, or, or a little after, but I'm thinking Carnival. Carnival. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, but again, the marketer in me, I always tend to look at when people listen. So people might be so, True. so engrossed in what's going on. I need people's attention. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But I will be pushing my product, Glow, which is a body shimmer. We have three different shades. It's so pretty. It's very pretty. Jeez. It's very easy to use. It's water-based. You just spray it on. Right? And it just goes, it glides right yeah, on. It's, yeah. it's very, 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 very nice. This one is dark. And it looks very light. Yes, it's like, very you light. Know, sometimes you see Not glue. greasy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not greasy, and that's why I love it. And again, um, I always want my products to have a competitive advantage. It doesn't make sense I put plain 
products out. Yeah. Like my products have to stand out just like me. That is that is well, a, clear, <laughs> a, clear, a clear reflection here. Yeah. But what what makes your product um, unique apart from the mm -hmm. naming of these products? What what makes it unique? Well, one um, is very affordable, um, high quality, and uh, again, it's something we can identify with. Now, my my aim with these products is to globalize our language. Um, okay. Yes, a sense of national pride. So, so, so one day you could go go to Sephora and be like, you know what? I picked up a pack of best thing. Hey. You know, I picked I up. I can't wait for that. I day. picked up a, a blend girl. Yeah. You know, and yeah. people, the Caribbean guys, probably living out there. They are so, they miss home so much. Yes, they do. Right? So they need something to connect them and, and, and doing make that you feel. Beauty. That, is, that is commendable. That is really, yes. really brilliant. Would nine-year-old you, would you have seen yourself <laughs> as this big beautician who mm -hmm. has taken over Trinidad via makeup? Would nine-year-old you see that? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> no. It may not have been so specific vision wise, but nine year old me would have known at that time I was great. I am great. And I think it's because of um, seeing my dad being that hustler, that, that yeah. great man, you know, and even this, just this morning I was on my social media and I was, you know, giving my son, who is five years old, big up Liam, who is five years old and I'm um, giving him affirmations to say, yeah. today I'm confident, today I'm going to take over the world, today I'm going to do well in school and I am starting that journey yeah. from, from, from small. So that when he reaches 18 and whatever. Yeah. It's already can, in him. It's already in And he can great. now motivate other people. Yes, yes, yes. So everything I do, I do with a purpose. You know, and, I, and people, they tend to feel empty. Yeah. And that's my greatest fear, And we actually. hold on to whatever little we can. Whether it's temporary happiness, we hold on to it not knowing that That's my these greatest fear, going. having nothing. Yeah. And not only nothing in money, but in purpose. In purpose. Mm -hmm. In happiness. Yeah. You know, so that's why I, I dedicate my life to, to, to being purposeful and inspiring others to do the same. What motivates you? Hmm, what motivates me? Um, well, everybody knows me as a believe in your sacrifice <laughs> girl. So definitely that, that definitely motivates me now. Um, of course, I like a certain lifestyle. Um, I want to afford certain things as well. So yes, and, and the thing about me is that I, I keep it real. Yeah. You know, so if I really like that Gucci bag, I'm going to get that Gucci it. bag. I'm not yeah. going to get the Gucci bag because other people want to see me with that. You know, so what motivates me is me. Yourself. You're very yeah, self-motivated. Me being me. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's just it. So whatever I want at that time, of course, we need money to get to buy things. That's and what... You, you know, funny that you mm -hmm. say that because I tell people this all the time. I'm like, you know, we all work for one thing at the mm -hmm. end of the day, whether you want to put it in whatever fancy form, but it's money. And we want things at the end of the day, so mm -hmm. what, what, what would get you that? Mm -hmm. As much as I, I mean, we, we should be grateful for thanks and yeah. everything. But and give thanks every day, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give thanks every, every, every day. Um, also, I want to let people know, in order to maintain that um, happiness or that purposeful intention that you want to exude, not only in yourself but in others, you have to consistently feed yourself yes. those things. So watch your circle. Mm -hmm. Watch your circle, listen to motivational speeches. Um, if you're into, I don't know, con con let me see, cooking, who is the best cook? Yeah. Benchmark yourself, you know, um, educate yourself. You know, stop listening to the, to the whatever on the radio or whatever. I mean, there's a time and place. Yeah. Life is a balance. But if you want to get better, feed yourself better. That is very well put. Mm -hmm. that, if you want to get better, feed yourself better. Mm -hmm. That's something I, I'm going to take away from this. Um, in terms of your support, though, mm -hmm. what is your support like? Um, hmm. I'm talking about from your clients into yeah. your family yeah. even when you started off because you know yeah. again like um chanel was telling me just now you mm. know when she started her mother was like well you know why are you leaving your government work to go into yeah, this yeah, yeah. but i mean most of us most of our parents have this kind of mm -hmm. traditional way of thinking that well you're safe only in a government job or yeah. as long as you have this not knowing that okay we have retrenchments going on here mm -hmm. they're everywhere mm -hmm. so 
What was your support like when you decided, well, hey, I am going to get into mm. this? So my support, that's such a tricky question. Um, to be honest, I don't think I had much. But now, now that I'm finding my, my center mm -hmm. and maintaining it, I feel that the right support is just falling in. Yeah. You know, the right clientele is falling in. The right friends are falling in. Well, my son is my son, so <laughs> can't change that. But he's, he's already super amazing. You know, um, <laughs> he's actually like, I'm like, Liam, I've had interviews. He's like, Mommy, I want to see. I want to be there. I want to come. He was there for my very first interview. Oh, wow. You know, and that interview was on TTT. We were there really early, <laughs> you know, and he was just so excited to see his mother on yeah. television. He has the energy from you. He definitely does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he sounds like this little burst of goodness that just there. Yeah. And he's like, By eight years, Liam's supposed to have his own business, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to encourage something like that. Yeah. You know, and that is the support. I hope that parents nowadays can subscribe to. Yes. You know, again, parents and with a purpose. Do everything, Do everything with, with a purpose. purpose. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely you right. Know? Even when it comes down to your daily life, did you see yourself doing this regular eight to four job or have you ever done it? I probably <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just so animated. I probably have done an 8 to 40 last time. I was probably 17 years old, 18 years old, around there. Um, that was never for me. And I knew that at such a young age. So I owned my own business. Um, well, I used to be married. Um, and we had a company called Twisted Imaginations Limited. Okay. And it's still in existence. It's actually in Barbados now. So I had that back in since I was 21 years old. Yeah. So that's probably why I got so well in, in marketing. Yeah. Because actually my field of study is in marketing. I have a master's in international relations. Oh, wow. Yes. But the marrying of everything, you know, it's, it's just like snippets of information. Mm -hmm. here and you there. just put it together. And you just put it together and you, you, you make your own yeah, you journey, created your, your own path. roadmap. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's the most beautiful thing you can do or gift yourself is knowing you. And I, I know you said that you want to take um, Paula Cake International. Mm -hmm. That's the international relations in there. Yes. So, we, again, we're seeing the incorporation of what you've studied into yeah, it. Yeah. Um, but you know, many people m might say, well, Trinidad, you know, you're just a small girl in a small country, you know. Mm -mm. Do, do you ever get negative comments? Um, and if so, how do you deal with it? Do I get negative comments? I wouldn't say I get negative comments because oh, I you feel don't like... don't pay any attention. Yeah, I feel like people are so intimidated by people who have confidence. That is true. And they wouldn't directly come and tell you to your face, but I do hear yeah. snippets of things and no, I just don't care. <laughs> I think that is like, the best attitude. No, like I really, I really don't care. Like, like I, I'm hearing the <laughs> genuinity. Yeah, like I just... feel like I feel like I will have love and I will have hate, and it's fine. Like it's a balance. Just like how there's good, there's evil. There's life, there's death. There's yeah. rain, there's sun. You can't have good days every single day. Just like you can't have good reviews every single day. Yeah. Um, and then some people just choose to see things in negative light. And this brings me back. I don't know why we are we are we are so we are encompassing. <laughs> my social media this morning because I spoke about um, people judging you and I spoke about it from that perspective where do not care but then I also spoke from it from the other perspective from the people who actually judge yeah. mind your business <laughs> you understand it both equals success yeah yeah yeah, yeah. where do you see uh, parlor cake in a few years. I mean, where do you see matching makeup in a few in years? That's a yeah. real question. I mean, I um, want to see Paula Cake in like all I these. I know, I know, I know, but um, Paula Cake for sure is going to become regional because that is my um, my short term goal. Right. Right. Um, regional regionalizing everything because I also want to go into like other um, countries like Saint Lucia and whatever and encompass their names there as well. So this is not only a Trinidad thing. This is a Caribbean thing. This is a CARICOM thing. Yeah. Right? This is taking CARICOM into the beauty industry. All right? Um, so I see Imagine Makeup in a few years, because I'm not, I'm not wasting any time in all beauty, beauty um, suppliers away internationally, um, reaching as far as China even, reaching as far as, as South America. Yeah. You know, you, parts of Europe. You know, I, I genuinely have a passion for this. All right, so I know we're kind of running over time oh, here. that was quick. Uh, wow. wow, and we learned so much. 
Jeez. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I am going to ask you your advice mm -hmm. to not just young women, but to young people. Mm -hmm. um, seeing that we live in a day and age where entrepreneurship has slowly become the norm for the average youth mm -hmm. because there aren't much opportunities or even if there are, you know, you know what happens in, this, in the system sometimes. So what is your advice to young people? So, I mean, the song cliche, again, believe in your sacrifice. That is actual, an actual thing. Because you are the only person that can guarantee yourself success, mm -hmm. right? Two, be consistent. You have to always be consistent. If you're not consistent, you're not going to see the results. You have to keep investing your time to see your business yeah. grow, right? Three, educate yourself. You cannot do something if you don't know what you're doing, yeah. right? Who is the best in the beauty industry? What do they do? What was what was their what, what was their roadmap? Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of figure that out. So you have to be. So you will be confident in what you're doing. You know, so that is just my my advice. Yeah. All right, Angel. Before we wrap things up, uh -huh. let me ask you your closing comments. My closing comments. Okay. Um, well, hmm. I am Angel Joseph. I am here to dominate the beauty industry globally, right? This, that, that, that's a very strong saying, I know. Um, but I believe in myself so much that I will definitely get there. So remember this face, guys. I'm here to stay. <laughs> I'm here to stay. Um, I want to um, imagine makeup is not only a brand. I ha the person behind the brand has so much to say and motivate and inspire to others. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Chrissy, thank you for having me. Um, before we go, let's get your social media handles. Right, social media handles. So for those who want to tune in to Imagine Makeup TT, that is at Imagine it's Makeup TT. You're seeing it on the screen there. It's on the screen right now. This is all our, you know, beautiful social media taking place here, right? Yeah. Um, and the next handle I would share, mm -hmm. my personal handle, um, is angel.imaginemakeup. If you want to tune in to my motivational speeches and you know whatever words that you will need to be successful all right thank you so much angel a woman who has truly found a way to marry uh, passion together with studies to um, motivation as well into beauty and has been dominating the local and regional um, capacity in her, in her capacity as a beautician. Mm -hmm. So, Angel, thank you so much for coming through thank again. Thank you for having me. Well, it's on that note, we've come to the end of today's show. I am Christy Kali Singh. On behalf of all of us here at PSA TV, <laughs> um, here's wishing you a safe and blessed day. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>